And you can see that uh, it's much more intense over here on this side in terms of uh, number of pedestrians making their way to the park. This is the direct connection to the Pfluger bike and pedestrian bridge, which connects to downtown, as well as the extension of the park at Auditorium Shores. Palmer Center, where there is a parking garage where folks can uh, walk in to the park. So even though it's difficult to get to the park by driving directly, you can still park at one of the more remote garage locations and walk in, as it should be. There are close-in provisions for uh, disabled individuals who need to be closer. And I wouldn't say that this is necessarily any more or less crowded than it is on a typical weekend on a beautiful day. It's always difficult to ride through here when uh, there's lots of pedestrians. And honestly, that's fine, you know. We on bikes can slow down a little bit. It's not a big deal. 
or at least it shouldn't be. And rolling up onto the James D. Fluger bike and pedestrian bridge. Again, the quintessential spot for folks to uh, snap a photo of uh, downtown Austin. And why not? A beautiful location. Sugare is there almost every day. He told me the other day that he's been uh, playing music here on Fluger Bridge for uh, the better part of a decade. Good stuff. Yeah, that's not a pleasant sound. <laughs> uh, I lived in an apartment complex right along that bend. Um, fortunately, our unit was on the inside, facing the inside courtyard, so we didn't hear the train as much as the poor folks who live in units on the outside. But man, yeah, that'll, that pierces your ears, I, I can attest. Well, here we are. We're at uh, the Whole Foods Market World Headquarters, and uh, we're gonna go do some shopping at the 
flagship store. Hope you enjoyed this little uh, ride on the trail here to the grocery store. All right, we're all locked up. Time to go shopping.